everyone! Today I have this package from K-Town for You to unbox, which contains both versions of Taman's new solo album, Never Gonna Dance Again Act 2. It does come with a poster too as well, which has the posters for both versions of the album. So here we have one version of the album and the other one, and I'm not sure if there are special names for the different versions. And along with the albums, I also picked up another issue of Maps Magazine. This is the issue that Kihyun was the cover model for. I recently got the recent issue with Minhyuk as a cover model, and when I went to buy my Tame and albums and saw the Kihyun one was still in stock, I decided I wanted to pick that up as well. I'm going to take a look at this version first. And the packaging is pretty similar to the packaging for Never Gonna Dance Again Act 1, which makes sense because they are part 1 and 2 of the same album. But it is a completely new full-length album with 9 songs. We have our title track Idea, and then the B-sides Heaven, Impressionable, Be Your Enemy, featuring Wendy of Red Velvet, Think of You, Exclusive, which is the Korean version of a B-side from his Japanese mini-album Famous. Pansy, I think it's love, and identity. And I believe Heaven and Identity were both previously revealed at concerts that Taman did. I haven't actually gone through and watched any of his concert DVDs yet, so I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what I've heard. So a lot of people were really looking forward to those songs, and they are quite good. So I'm glad that they are finally released. I've got the number three on the spine. I love the foil detailing here. It's very gorgeous. There's raised text on the cover. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it does say Taman Act 2, Never Gonna Dance Again. Very, very cool. And there's the sleeve packaging, so it slides out. And that is what the photo book cover looks like, and it is a very thick photo book, which is always nice to see. We've got our CD holder, which is done much the same as Act 1, so nice to see the consistency there. We've got our photo card. I got this one, which is really cool looking. Yeah, I'm really excited to look through these photo books because a lot of the styling and the teasers was super interesting. Got our SM ad. Another transparent thing like we got in part one. And then another folded poster. Very cool and spooky and mysterious looking. Now let's take a look through the photo book. Let's see the first page folds out again. Oh yeah, this one's going to be so cool to look through. I can tell already. <clears throat> it already looks really mysterious and spooky. I love that. Yeah, I was so impressed by Act 1 that I really did not know if he was going to be able to top it. But of course he did. Every Taman album is absolutely fantastic. And this one is no exception. I honestly feel like I might like Idea a little bit more than Criminal. They're both incredible songs. But there's something about Idea, about the orchestral stuff in the arrangement. It's just so cool. If for some reason you haven't checked it out yet, I highly, highly recommend it. And the music video is really cool also. Yeah, the imagery in this album is really cool. I didn't love all of the concept photos for Act 1, but I'm really liking Act 2. Lyrics for Heaven. Honestly, the fog and the forest setting almost makes Tamen look like a Star Wars character there. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, it's from Impressionable. I feel like even with the photo book, you can kind of tell that there's this heaven and hell dichotomy going on here with the light concepts versus the darker concepts. It's very cool. Here to be your enemy. Oh, these teasers were so cool. This red outfit here. There's one in particular that I hope is in the photo book. The lyrics for Think of You. Yeah, here we go. With this hat, this look really, really reminds me of Shiny's Everybody photo shoot. Which, I don't know if that was on purpose or not. But if it was, that was a fun callback. And if it wasn't on purpose, then it's a happy coincidence. And one of the things I love about this photo shoot is that Taman filmed in this infamous building where so many music videos were shot. We have Eclipse by Kim Lipabluna, Elevator by Stray Kids, To Be or Not To Be by Oneis, Mayday by Victon, among many, many others that have also been filmed in this building. So it was kind of fun to see Taman do a photo shoot there as well. Yeah, all of these photo concepts are gorgeous. Lyrics are exclusive. That is such a cool shot. Lyrics for Pansy. Yeah, I really, really love this photo book. I feel like the other version is going to have a hard time topping this one. Lyrics for I think it's love. This is so cool. I've got a lot of concepts in the music video, but we also have a lot of unique ones, which is nice. We've got the lyrics for identity, which if you have not heard, I highly, highly recommend it. Because, first of all, the instrumental is built off of the instrumental outro from the Want mini album, which tells you how long Taman has been working on a follow-up release. But also, there's some lyrical references here that, like, made me pause when I was listening to it, because I was not expecting them. I haven't looked up a full translation yet, but yeah, there is something stated in English, which sounds like it's referencing a couple albums, and it, it really caught me by surprise. So I really, really, really like that song, and it's just a good song also. These pictures are so cool. I feel like I've said that for every concept. That we've seen so far in this album but it just is it's such a cool photo shoot Damon really is such a legend in k-pop at this point then the credits so gorgeous Next up, we'll take a look at the second version, and first of all, I do want to point out that Act 1 had different 
color schemes for the two versions. One was mostly red on the cover, one was mostly black. These two are the same on the outer sleeve. They are all this cream color, and they both have the same silver number three on the spine. The cover still slides off the same way. Again, same CD design as before. I can't help but wonder if they made those the same to save on the packaging cost. Oh, I do want to point out, this is a little bit of a bummer, the back of my photo book got a little smashed at one corner. That's a manufacturing defect there. Could be worse though, at least it's only on the back. Got our mini poster for this one. I don't know if these are random and I just got unlucky and got the same version, or if it's the same version for everything. Okay, so they might be the same photo book. I'm not sure yet. Let me check something, because the covers are obviously different, and the first page is the same, but the fold-out is different. But flipping through, the concepts look really similar, so let me see, just do a correct, direct comparison of a few pages. Yeah, no, it is the exact same photo book. This is why I don't trust SM. This is why I should not blindly pre-order things from SM, because there's no consistency. Act 1 had two completely different photo books, so when it became clear that Act 2 also had two different covers and two different versions. The logical assumption was, yeah, so that'll have two different photo books too. Not so. <laughs> so that was not uh, what I was expecting. That is not really a fun surprise, thinking you're buying two completely different versions and they're the same with just a couple minor differences. But I guess that's uh, SM. <laughs> I will show you the other fold-out, because that is different. Yeah. I mean, luckily I got these for a good price. I didn't pay too much for them, but that definitely is a bummer, considering I thought I was getting two completely different photo books, the same that I did with Act 1. But that is the photo card I got for this version. And this was the other random item, which is very pretty. So, I may just keep these, stick this in the photo book for the other version, and put both photo cards in my binder. Because, yeah, I definitely don't need uh, two different copies of an album with the exact same photo book. Like I said, the photo book is absolutely gorgeous. All of the pictures in it are beautiful. Well worth the purchase. Just, uh maybe save yourself the money and don't buy both versions unless you really really want to there really isn't a practical reason to have both this time unfortunately on that note let's quickly take a look at Kihyun's cover of maps magazine this is what his cover looks like um, and this also came in two different versions the other version was out of stock on k-town for you but this one was still available. And this, I believe, was the cover I liked better anyway, so I did not mind. Right away, we see Ki Hyun in the Table of Contents collage. Very gorgeous picture. Looked really handsome as a blonde. Let's see if I can thumb through to where he first appears. Got a little blurb about his contributions, much like we did with Minhyuk. Says Kihyun, with a fairy tale face and boyish movements and eyes. By the way, his voice was very strong. Yes, hype up his vocal talents. This is the third time filming with Global Idol Group Month X. We are as close as we get. Kihyun, who came back from exercising in the morning to shoot a pictorial, was grateful to us who are tired these days. Kihyun, who is full of consideration, Seems to be more solid in the future. The day his high nose shone beautifully. So they hyped up his voice, his nose, 
and his consideration of others. Yeah, that sounds like Kikyan in a nutshell. Interesting that his is the only one translated into English. Perhaps they knew Monsex's global power. Which, I will say, I have seen some K-fans pointing out that them not being able to tour this year may have been a weird blessing in disguise. Because they have been able to get so many magazine shoots this year that they normally... I mean, they've had a few magazine shoots in the past, but never, like, to this extent. I swear, every single month this year, there was at least one new Monster X magazine cover photo shoot we were finding out about. Which is absolutely wonderful. So happy for them. And as I said in my unboxing of the Mintak magazine, I don't normally go out of my way to pick up magazines. But I really wanted to get Mintak's cover shoot as he is one of my ultimate biases. And I really liked the photo shoot concept. And since Kihyun is my second bias in Monsex and I really liked this shoot as well, I wanted to pick it up to kind of have those two items together in my collection. I'm not planning on going out and getting any more of their past magazine covers. However, if new ones come out that I like that are a decent price, I may pick up some more. I may not. We're, we're going to play that by ear. But for now, I'm satisfied with just these two. So their photography was by Kim Youngman and directed by Ryu Doyeon. This lovely shot of the back of his head. And then this really pretty one here. Yeah, he looked really gorgeous as a blonde. It is a shame he didn't really have it for promotions, I don't think. I mean, Kian looks gorgeous no matter what, don't get me wrong. But the blonde was a really fun color on him. He is so pretty. And I feel like their magazine shoots really suit them both really well, even though they're for the exact same magazine. Min Hyuk's was a lot darker and a lot artsier looking, whereas Ki Hyun's is a lot more straightforward, handsome man in a garden kind of thing. It's very them, I like that. Yeah, so not a super long spread but some really gorgeous photos. That one is just next level. I'm super pleased to have it in my collection. That is it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.